would you look at that it's magic 2k man yo check it out man um we about to go through what badges you need to be successful in the park as every type of shooter um there's no one type of shooter like you can be a shot creator a pure sharp shooter a spot up shooter which is like a stretch big so let's start off with my shot creators now my shot creators catch and shoot silver you don't need that badge anything higher than silver straight up i use this this build is how would i explain how would i describe my build i feel like my build is demigodish demigodish not a demigod but demigodish um i don't have all my badges maxed out so when i do i'll let y'all know i'll give y'all an update on that but i have all my sharpshooting badges and this build is a 6-9 three level score now i do everything on this build i shoot off the dribbles i spot up shoot i post up shoot fades like i do everything shooting i do it all like there's nothing there's nothing shooting that my build can't do but when it comes to shooting there's nothing my build can't do um so i have a really good idea i actually change my badges a lot depending on what i'm gonna play so when i'm playing threes twos and when it comes to threes it's based on the lineup so it depends on based on how i'm going to play i do a lot of isoing but i iso out of the triple threat i don't do a lot of dribbling i'm six nine so i can't really dribble but i'll be cooking out of the triple threat like all the time um let me get like i said i'm getting in my shot creators uh this right here what you're looking at is literally how i was set up a shot creator and i'll go into detail on how everything should why i have everything set up like this you catch and shoot you're not going to be doing too much catching and shooting you're rolling off screens so for the occasional catch and shoot jump shot silver catch and shoot difficult shots hall of fame under is you can't even negotiate like you if you're a shot creator you should know difficult shots hall of fame is a must you cannot go lower than that like if you do you tripping you know what i'm saying you're tripping if you go if you go lower than that right there okay um I do wanna I do wanna put something into perspective. I'm gonna go over the badges, the four the first four badges that you should have. Um you can't really base this exact setup for every shot credit because I don't believe you guys get 27. I think you guys get like 20. You guys, you guys get like 20 things. So what we'll do is for the sake of this video is we'll deduct seven we'll deduct seven of these badges so one two damn that's tough three four um five six seven okay that's more realistic and I'm gonna tell you why I did not downgrade the range extender. Range extender on Hall of Fame, I feel like is a must for you guys because you guys have an 88 open three. And so people will only guard you at a, like a certain length. I'm gonna keep it 100. If you too deep, I'm not about to step up on shot creator and wait for you to blow, blow by me. I'm gonna just live with the shot. And if you have Hall of Fame range extender on and you know your release, green light. Hall of Fame dead eye, you need this honestly you could run it on gold like if you want it if you want it to have a hall of fame green machine but i don't it's unnecessary to have a hall of fame green machine if you can if you can just rock with a gold like you know what i'm saying it still activates just as much high zone hunter on silver activates a lot as well so having a hall of fame dead eye is good for you because you can be running a hall of fame difficult shots for all of your off the dribble shots green machine on gold two shots two greens green machines activated and you should be greening up everything and if you know you release especially off the dribble you become extremely overpowered if you have a lot of hot spots all over the court especially in the mid-range hot zone hunter is going to activate a lot quick draw on silver on on a shot creator six five and under honestly quick draw on silver is more than enough especially unless you run in some kind of extra slow rudy gay jump shot that's all you're gonna need is a quick draw on silver 
this setup right here is literally 20 badges and i do believe that you guys get 20 upgrades i'm almost positive to say that shot creators get 20 upgrades i have a shot creator but i'm not sure exactly how many badge upgrades i got but i believe it's 20. so 20 upgrades right there boom perfect setup you should be able to do everything if you want if you want to change things around for a higher catch and shoot be my guess it's all based on play style but majority of shot creators this is how they play they they barely shoot off catch and shoot so these shots should work for you and that's you know what I'm saying you should be good all right now for my other sharp shooters that do a lot of my other shooting builds that do a lot of cross a lot of crossing a lot of play a lot of threes really you know what I'm saying you're running with centers and you're doing a lot of cross plays um what we'll do for you guys is we'll say is some of you i do know that some of you only once again get like 20 shooting badges because you're like sharp shooting playmakers so you only get like 20 to say 15 16 to 20 badges so what i'll do is i'll rearrange this current setup and then seeing how i don't get 30 upgrades i get 27 is i will then apply more for my pure sharp shooters all right so if you run in once again this is for like a six five shooting guard and under okay you're if you're not a shot trader you don't need difficult shots on hall of fame you put it on gold but i would recommend putting hot zone hunter on gold okay hot zone hunter on gold green machine on gold difficult shots on gold range extender now if you're doing a lot of cross plays and you're not necessarily a pure sharpshooter you don't need range extender on hall of fame but i would recommend you getting a gold quick draw now the reason being is because you're playing threes and there's help defense so if your release could be a little bit faster it'll be better for you because you're not really shooting off the dribbles you got to stop and do a pull-up jump shot and with the current update um they actually i guess I'm not, this is not coming from me. This is coming from one of the well-respected shot creators in the, in the in the 2K community, Ticino. They nerfed off the dribble jump shots. So, I mean, you won't be pulling too many crazy off the dribble threes. So I think that maybe you should uh, get down some spot ups. Now, you're running at cross plays. I recommend having a gold catch and shoot or silver if you have like a well it just depends if you want to have a gold dead eye or a catch and shoot catch and shoot needs to be at least on silver so let's say you rather prefer to have a gold dead eye go a gold dead eye silver catch and shoot now these should be your badges right here if you're not a pure sharp okay if you're not a pure sharp you're like a playmaking you get about 20 upgrades boom this is a solid setup for you right here it's a solid setup for a build that's not a shot creator now for a build that's a spot up shooter uh you're gonna be running a similar setup except i'm talking about you stretch bigs out there that want to run hall of fame difficult shot in fact some of you are power forwards so this badge isn't even available for you all right, so you want to run a Hall of Fame catch and shoot, okay? Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Your dead eye, Hall of Fame. Green Machine could be gold. You could put it up higher if you would like. Depending on the jump shot, you guys might want to have a Hall of Fame quick draw. But I'm just going to say if I was a stretch big, I would have a jump shot that was for show sure not uh, I did that I wouldn't need a Hall of Fame because if you think about it man you're taking away from the badge upgrades you get when you run a Hall of Fame quick draw a lot of these badges so if you can avoid running a quick a green machine on Hall of Fame a hot zone on Hall of Fame it's smart to do so because that's an extra upgrade that you can put towards something else all right my power forwards you guys gonna be doing a lot of little bit of moving you guys might want to run a tireless score now you guys get like 30 badges you for sure need to put on range extender hall of fame like you know what i'm saying come on let's be real you're running that hall of fame guaranteed 
your corner specialist, put that on goal. Put that on goal due to the fact you don't you don't have difficult shots. And there's a couple other badges I think that you might not be able to grade, not be able to get. But you do want to be able to move off ball because you're doing a lot of catching and shooting. So I will put that on. Go right here. Now you now you guys get 30. For you guys that get 30, uh, you power forward, stretch bigs, you want to go, I would go Hall of Fame on slippery off ball because you want to be able to move quick. You know what I'm saying? I would go Hall of Fame off ball. I would go corner specialist Hall of Fame. The reason I say that is because I've also said that you don't need that badge with a Hall of Fame hot zone hunter. But seeing how you get 30, getting that extra boost is not going to kill you. So put that on Hall of Fame and put your hot zone hunter on Hall of Fame. That'll be what a power forward catch and shoot artist would do. Now, if you're not a power forward, but you know your play style is catch and shoot, you want to do something similar to this, but with what badges you have available. Um, all right, to close out this video, I'll show you guys how I run my build for twos, okay? I'll show you guys how I run my build for the twos court. Um, I'm a 6'9". I guess when I'm describing my build, I would say I'm a post-scoring, shot-creating, stretch big. That's how my build, that's what my build is. So, when I play twos, I run a Hall of Fame difficult shots because I do off-the-dribble twos. And I do a gold deep phase. I don't run a Hall of Fame range extender. But I do run a Hall of Fame quick draw, depending on my jump shot. Or I do a Hall of Fame hot zone runner because it activates a hella ton because I got hella, hella much hot zones. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this is how I run my build majority of the time, especially when I'm playing twos with a big. All right. When I'm not playing twos, I don't need div I don't need deep fades, but sometimes I'll leave it on if I'm running. I run this same the same setup if I'm running with a dominant point guard. Like if I have to if I if I have to post up, like we run the offense through me, I run deep fades every time because I just post up little guards shoot over the head. Simple, you know what I'm saying? If you uh want me to, you want me to show you guys a tutorial on how to be like um how to play ISO without dribbling. If you guys want that video, all you gotta do is get this video to 20 likes. Let me know in the comments below and I'll drop, I'll show you guys how I play full ISO with explanation on how I do it and how I make the decision on which directions I move, what moves I use and what phase I do in certain situations. Just let me know in the comments below. All right, I run a Hall of Fame range extender. I run a Hall of Fame Green Machine. And like I said, depending on my jump shot, it's, on, it's normally on Hall of Fame or, uh, or gold. But I, I feel really comfortable when I have a tireless score. And like I said, when I'm running a certain jump shot, I wouldn't particularly have a corner specialist. So I would have this on Hall of Fame. So this is my traditional, like when I'm running raps. When I'm running raps, because I play, it just, like I said, depending on my lineup, is the kind of gameplay you're gonna see from me. So if I'm running wraps, this is the lineup that I'm running. I don't take any, I don't take any really deep corner spot shots. I take a lot of high wing shots and stuff like that. I'm always in those situations. So, and I have hot zone on Hall of Fame just in case I find myself in the corner. So boom, that's that man. Um, I hope I covered your play style or your archetype. And I hope I helped you guys out a lot. But um, other than that, this is Magic 2K. But if you new, hit that sub button. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of you guys watch the videos. If you enjoy my content, man, do me a favor. Hit the sub button. Hit that notify button so you know exactly when these videos come out. I'm trying my best to daily upload for you guys. So, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Drop that sub. Put that noty. You know what I'm saying? Drop that like. Um, and that goes for all my returning subscribers on my day ones. Yo, I really appreciate all the love you guys have been showing me lately. Um, so if you guys can hit that like button 20 likes I'll drop a tutorial on how I ISO without dribbling the ball but other than that it's Maddie 2k
I be on that fly shit. Yo, bitch wanna trace you to my bitch. I be on that one and I'ma buy shit.